Uh, sorry about all the videos. Some people have been asking me questions, and so I'm trying to uh, answer them with videos as it seems to be the easiest path for me. I'm out on the Torchmate 4x4 forum, um, Timberfab, and comment 1756 under what have you built on your in, on your Torchmate. Uh, posted this picture where he had created this square with the triangles cut out of it, and um, somebody had asked me, that while they have uh, methods of going creating triangles and things like that and, and doing these kind of things they wanted to see how I would do it to see if maybe it was a little more efficient or not or just kind of get some ideas I think so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sh going to show you the way that I would approach this um, and it's going to be the easiest way that doesn't mean it's the only way and I, I'll show you why I do what I do and not other options so the very first thing say like we're going to create a uh, square that's maybe six inches wide by four inches tall. And I'm going to actually zero this down on X and Y. F7 to zoom in, F6 to zoom back out. If, actually, if I zoom back in, you notice that I have my grid right here. It's a sixteenth inch. And I'm going to keep my snap to grid on. And what I'm going to do is create... Uh, no, I'm going to hold off on that for a second. So I'm going to... I'm going to, uh, you could do this a couple of ways. I, I've done it both ways. Um, if I want to create a half inch border around this, I can duplicate this object with my control D and then subtract half inch from that direction and a half inch from that direction, which works fine because um, proportional scaling is unchecked. And actually, half inch is wrong. I need to I'm, I need to make it uh, five by three. I it, I need to take one inch off because I'm doing a half inch on each side. So I'm going to shift, left shift, uh, left click on that object, Alt K to bring up my alignment tool, which is under Layout, Arrange and Distribute Alignment. Have aligned last object selected. I'm going to center those, and now. This is why I had to shrink it down one inch is because I needed a half inch on top and a half inch on bottom. Okay. So now I'm going to take these and I'm going to do an X or weld on them. And if I do an Alt S to show and toggle my fill, which can be found under view, show fill somewhere in here. Um, this is what I've done. Now I'm going to break this apart with a control B or a machine you know, arrange break path. I'm going to duplicate this outside box just so I don't have to recreate it and here's a second option for doing this which this option works out really well with um, complicated shapes. So squares it's not so much but if you go watch the video I created on a bumper and wanted to create a border around that this option works much works a lot better and I like it. So machine create tool path female and I'm going to select what I created were offsets. I'm going to create a half inch offset make sure I don't have any lead in or anything and uncheck this uh, show tool diameter that's why you saw a black line there and I did the exact same thing however this is a tool path I need to break it with an arrange break path or control B now I can highlight both of these and do an XOR weld. I'll use my hotkey, control one. Uh, let me combine these again. And it's basically the same, a way to do the exact same thing, except the second way that I did this works much better with complicated shapes again. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line. I have my snap to grid on. Because I'm working with 16th inch increments on my grid, um, and everything that I'm doing is falling on, on some type of a 16th inch mark, I should be able to just click here and here and get the exact line that I need. I could, you can duplicate this and mirror it, or you can just go and create a new line. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take these two lines and we're going to highlight them, go and click on the Stroke and Fill tool, I'm going to click on thick line. We want it a half inch wide. And right now I have line in front. That is critical. If you go look at my other video, if this is not selected, this will not work. Um, I always had line behind before, and that was a problem. And then you can, how do you want to do your ends? In my case, it doesn't matter. I don't want an end cap. 
Um, I'm just doing sharp corners. If I click save, this will be a default and it will cause problems later, so I'm not going to do that. My save, my default is with a hairline. Um, the thickness is set at zero, and then the rest of these options are the same, and I click that as my default. So anyway, now I'll deselect this. Make sure that you have show tool diameter selected. That can also be found under view, show tool diameter, alt n. With that selected, let me come and grab these two lines and I'm going to just do perform a basic weld on those and what it did is it uh, took that line and just expanded it according to the settings that I had. Now I'm going to take everything here and I'm going to do a perform a basic weld on it and I basically recreated this object minus rounding corners so if I want to round the corners you can go up here to trans highlight everything transform round corner on the style you can select the inside corners and bump it up to whatever you want. Let's do point, point 0.15. I like that. I'm going to apply that, close that. You can also do the same thing to the outside corners. I had noticed pre previously when I was making a video on this, if I go to try to round the corner where I have all these inside corners, it may not like it like that. It'll blow up on you. If that's the case, um, just go into transform, fill it round corner and come and select your corners manually. So just to show you that this software isn't 100% uh, bug free, you do run into problems and there are ways to work around it. I run into problems all the time and I just have to mess with things and, and learn how to use them. So to wrap this video up, um, that's the way I would approach it. Um, I guess I could have uh, created that, let me control Z the, these, and I'm going to break that apart. I could have done the same thing with this line that I did with the inside lines. The reason why I didn't do that is because when you do it, it expands the line proportionally outside and if, away from the from whatever you have. So where I have this box as a six by four, it would have ended up at six about six and a half by four and a half by the time it was all said and done because it expands a quarter inch that way and a quarter inch that way, and then it does it on the bottom line too, and then the side line. So you end up making it uh, what so if you make a half inch line you end up making your objects a half inch bigger than what you expected that's why I did not do it the way I just did it um, that's why I'm that's why I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, machine create that let me, let me let me come and select the female tool path here deselect that break this and You can see how fast I try to move sometimes when I'm not having to explain everything. Not that it's that fast, but uh, fill it around corner. Let's go ahead and do the outside corners. That's fine. Transform round corner insides. 0.15. Now I'm back to the object. So what I wanted to do um, now was, uh, in addition to answer those questions, He'd also asked, how would I create triangles? And I've done this a couple of ways. I used to go ahead and create a square. I'd usually try to make it even like a two by two. And then I, what I would do is I would create a box. Doesn't matter your thickness. Rotate it at 45 degrees. And then because you don't have snap to object in the software, which I really wish they did, I'd manually zoom in and just get that as close as I could. Take these two objects and do an XOR weld on them. Oops, wrong weld. XOR weld on them. Delete these. Rotate this 45 degrees. But, um, and you can adjust it however you want. If you want an equilateral triangle, you can try to eyeball it. But the easiest way to create a triangle is probably come in here and use your polygon tool. In your polygon tool, if you come create it, uh, you can come select the number of sides and make sure that your rotation angle is at zero, and that'll give you an equilateral triangle. I don't care about the size of it so much. Um, you can then t take that and tweak it the way you need to. If you wanted to make like an obtuse triangle or something, you can come in. This is this is a trick that I've learned that uh, saves me a ton of time. If I want to go and make, for instance, like an obtuse triangle, I can create this little box. I'm, this is my split 
this is the way I'm going to cut this in half. Do an XOR weld. Come and delete these objects and say like I need to bump this over in the X direction two inches plus two inches. And you may be looking at this saying, well, what is he doing? But just trust me. Um, I'm going to go create another box just to bridge these. Do a basic weld on these. And now when I double click on this, if I come in here and delete every center point, I've got my obtuse triangle. So there are ways of doing things like that. Um, that's the way I approach triangles. Um, I, I used to, again, the first way I explained it was the way I used to do it. Um, but then I started using this polygon tool and that's just a lot easier. And one final thing just to, well, no, if, if your triangles is uh, crooked like this, use your align to baseline tool. I created a video on that, so I don't think I'll cover it again here, but um, lay out, arrange, align to baseline. I'll just go ahead and uh, do it real quick, but I'm not going to explain it. So if you want to see the explanation, go to the other video, and it's actually a shorter video. So I'm going to move that, and now it's it's uh, not turned at any any special angle. Um, if you have any further questions, let me know. This is just the way I approach things. It's not necessarily the right or wrong way. It may may or may not be the best way. Um, it's just the way I, that that I I do it. I hope that helps you. Thanks for watching.